the pins. This is a really good feature of the game. I think they've changed it and it did look terrible. But I think that it's amazing. It feels like you have so many last gasp kickouts in the match. It gives you so much enjoyment when you do one. I've kicked out a lot of last minute um, kickouts and it gives you so much adrenaline when you kick out in a last second one after a finisher. I really think that it gives you a great feeling. The reversals make a back and forth feeling as well because it's limited every reversal is worth something and when you do a reversal it's game changing the graphics the graphics on this game have improved drastically if you look at all the new characters that have come on new to this year into the series like baron corbin the graphics are amazing now i'm just going to show you a few of the other superstars that i think are amazing as well but obviously i've made five reasons why the game is bad and I've also put the graphics on that as well and if you want to go over and have a look at that have a look at it because obviously there's a bad bit to the graphics as well but I think that some of the graphics is good so that's why it's on here so if you would like to have a look at the five bad reasons why just go ahead and over and have a look at it The modes are back. We have got ladder matches and we've got handicap matches back into the game, which obviously adds a bit more creativity really to your matches. You can make different things, which we felt lacked in the last game because they didn't have any handicap matches and no ladders, which also just made the game a bit boring and short lasting really. It just felt you got bored of it so quick. They've also brought back in the feature to create a diva which is okay because a lot of people was moaning but or is that just the excuse for them not to add the four horsewomen into the game which I thought was a big move because of they are the four main divas in the company so that was a bit of a, a big if so um, yeah maybe they've done that so you can create it for yourself because they couldn't be asked making them maybe breakouts it's a completely different thing that we've never actually saw in any of the games before it just feels so good to actually just come out and annihilate your opponent before the match even starts i just think it's such an easy and simple idea but actually works so well and i think it's the biggest thing in the game um today i really do think that it's just a simple move which actually just made the game a lot more fun there's endless possibilities with endless entrances of the uh, massive roster so you can actually have a really good uh, fun just uh, experimenting with the run-ins and breakouts which is really cool you've saw the good things why not have a look at the bad there's a video five things bad about 2k16 why don't you go and check it out